name is Dinka and today I'm gonna talk to you about a very interesting hardware. We're gonna talk about the XP Pen tablet. It's a graphic tablet, it has a HD monitor in it and it is a very interesting thing to work with. This particular model is called uh, Pro Artist 16 and why is tablet better than keyboard and mouse? Keyboard and mouse were never developed for working with pictures, for editing, for retouching. So the software has to adjust to the keyboard and the mouse. But the graphic tablets are made for these kind of things. For editing pictures, uh, for graphic design, painting and stuff like that. So it is a bit more intuitive. Plus the biggest advantage for me is that it rests your wrist. If your arm hurts uh, from all the mouse clicking and editing, then the tablet can actually help you release that pain and get a little better. So, a step number one that we're gonna do is that we're gonna take the keyboard and put it away because you should not be needing it at all while using the tablet. The same with the mouse, just put it away and work on your tablet. So, this particular tablet uh, was, uh, provided to us by XP Pen and we would like to thank them, of course, that we could try it because it is a very interesting and new experience. We really enjoy working with it. It is super easy to connect. You just plug the USB-C here and the rest into your computer. Very simple. What is important about every tablet and particularly this one is the pen that you get along with it. The pen has this very special tip that can be exchanged for a new one it has two buttons here and the eraser here. You get this beautiful case and when you open it, you got a space for your pen where you can leave it when you're not using it. Then you have nine extra tips that you can exchange. Uh, it is really beautiful design and easy to open. So you've got the super smart pen. It has around 8,000 levels of pressure so it is really smart. What I liked about using this pen is that these two buttons here, you can just use them so easily because you've got your thumb on it. So when you're working, you click it and you don't need to do basically anything. And it's very, very easy to reach and push. So the tablet, as you can see, has eight different buttons here, two rollers here. And what you can probably see is there are three more buttons here. There is a power button to turn it on and off, and there is a brightness adjustment. Uh, these eight buttons you can easily set in an application. The application you just download into your computer, and then you start adjusting the tablet to your particular needs. Um, this has four sections. Work area, you can adjust uh, the crop in which you want to work. If you do a lot of retouching, you can go a little bit closer. We will leave it to the default. The pen setting, that's where it gets interesting. You can see the pressure here. You can see as I push, I create all those levels of the pressure. You can see it here in the current pressure. You can set the hardness to whatever fits you the best. And you can set all three buttons on the pen. You can leave the eraser being the eraser. You can set something to these little buttons that you've got under your thumb. What I'm using is a control Z because this undo button is something that I use very often so I really want it to be very reachable for me and the right click of course you need quite often. Shortcut keys is where you set those eight keys. We left the last one on the default because it is very smart. It sets what these little rolls do, these little circles here. Um, zoom, scroll, brush, size, rotate. So if uh, you want to work with these circles, you can either use the outer one, which is physical, so you're actually rolling it as you touch it, or the middle one, who is um, not physical, it is a touch circle. So you touch those things, you work with them around a little bit, and you figure out what 
suits you the best, what fits you the best. And what they do is set by the last button that we leave to what it was. But those seven buttons we've set to certain shortcuts that fit us the most. Uh, you can, as you can see, you can open it and set the mouse control, the keyboard, you can add uh, shortcuts or just simple keys. Depends on what you use the most. It is good to sit down and think what is it that you use the most when you work and then you can just set it to the tablet. When you're done, you can go to the roller touch. This is where you work with the little circles. This is what where you set how you want to use them up, what you want to use them for. So you just open the application, set everything to what you think is the best for you. Of course, you will probably figure out how to use it properly and best to your needs during some time. You can't probably really do it the best at the first, but doesn't matter. It is a very fun experience to work with graphic tablet. Painting into the photography is a new way of working with it and it is fun. And as I said, it really helps your wrist if you have troubles with that. So uh, one last thing is why am I wearing this little weird glove? It's because I don't wanna grease the screen. If you grease the screen with that little oil that we have in our on our hands then the pen will probably not work 100% it is not the fault of the pen it is that the screen gets greasy and the pressure isn't as great as it could be so that's why I'm using this little glove because it helps with the screen staying clean and working 100% so this is basically the most important things that you need to know about the tablet. Don't worry about trying new things. Uh, don't be disappointed if it doesn't work 100%. It is new for you and your hands. So it will take a little time to adjust. But once you're adjusted, you're going to love it. Trust me. So good luck.